hotel room with no problems at all because the lady in the front was very nice and let me just give you guys a quick tour of our room so right on my left right here is the bathroom but someone's already in it and right next to it is the refrigerator microwave and i believe this is just storage next to the door on the right is the bed and we already put our stuff down because we are tired from traveling and we kind of just want to recharge before heading out but yeah looks very nice and clean so far um right here we have a little living room area situation going on with more storage if you need it an office desk area it's kind of dark in here because it is, it's quite cloudy today and we don't have a view so there's no point of us opening our curtains at all we just get this um, alleyway view which is fine i really don't care we're out of the hotel and we went back to the um train station or light rail to um go to den typhon and catch some lunch some soup dumplings and I got myself a lychee mojito and then he just got the dentai fong special which is just draft beer and we're just waiting for our order to come our Shaolong Bao has arrived this is his first time ever trying soup dumplings and just a warning it's very hot so don't poke a hole in it put it in your spoon and then poke a hole <laughs> you don't want to waste the soup this is the whole point of Shaolong Bao our cucumber salad has arrived. It reminds me of kimchi. It has a very strong sesame smell to it. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it spicy? It's like a non-spicy uh, kimchi version. Oh, okay. It says spicy on the menu, but probably not spicy for us though. Our sauteed green beans with garlic has arrived. And we already ate some, but it's very good. Oh yeah, I forgot there's garlic oil too. I need to dip mine garlic oil. Yeah, you can pierce the skin, let some of the soup come out. Do you like it? Good enough? I'm gonna eat mine, I'm so excited. The beef noodle soup has arrived. Look at the intense color. Honestly, it does remind me of pho. That's a big spoon. My sesame noodles has arrived and they told me to mix it well. And then our pork and shrimp dumpling has arrived. These are just regular dumplings, steamed and super excited to eat them. But here is a view of all our food at Den Tai Fung. We don't have this chain where we're from, so I am really appreciating this right now. view from down below. If you look straight ahead, you can see the mountain in the back too. We went one floor down below and we are on the revolving glass that's currently moving around Space Needle and it's moving at a very low rate but honestly i like it down here more than upstairs because one there's less people and there's actually ac down here <laughs> but yeah we're currently moving if you cannot tell but very very slowly to our right
I got one barbecue pork on a stick from Mi Sun Pastry and I got a wife cake but it's in my backpack. Just want to try something here. taking all their pictures right here. Sadly, we don't have a piece of gum to put on the wall, but it's okay, I don't want to touch it, it's nasty. Ooh, look at all these germs. We made it back to our hotel. We were getting so tired and so hot from wearing a mask all day, and it was actually getting pretty warm throughout the day. We did a lot of walking today, we figured, because everything is just like 20 minutes away, we're like, might as well just walk. But yeah, we're going to freshen up, just relax before dinner hits, and then head out again. I've been longing for all of my life. I just want to talk to your girl, but I can't, because I can't form the words to say. Got a million trillion things running through my brain, I gotta take my... Amen, how? <laughs> So after eating Korean barbecue, we decided to come and stop by and get some boba tea. And this shop is called TPT. I'm going to get the green tea with like the cheese at the top. I want to see what the hype is all about. And um, yeah, they're kind of busy right now, even though it's like 8 p.m. But there's like all these people right here waiting for their boba. <laughs> Mm. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was it for the first day of Seattle. It's been very adventurous and we're super exhausted. So, good night. Make a save with your mind. This is what I have been longing for all of my life. We'll both be living the life. We'll be treating each other all day and all night. You do the same in exchange. I right, order a Korean corn dog from the food truck called Seoul Bowl Co. So, this is our first snack of the day. The vendors are right here, but it's sprinkling, so I'm not going to record that part. I'll just record when we go inside. How is that? The hot dog have more meat. Oh, I want to see what it looks like. Oh. I don't even know if it's hot dog. It's like a sausage, actually. Yeah, it smells like a sausage. Like a Korean sausage. It tastes like cheese curds. Mm hmm. I wish I had more like, ketchup on it. We got a strawberry in a tataiyaki. He said if we ate from the head, that means we're going to be smart today. So hopefully you made a right choice. I like it. It's not heavy at all. For a dessert.
we want to, but just because, you know, because. Look at his face. Is this the face of a sober guy? Nope. <laughs> Buzz, that's how he had four beers and I had two mixed drinks. So let's just say we're not sober mm -hmm. right now. She, Our Mon Long dumpling has arrived. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like hot pot. Mm. <laughs> We got like the extra spicy. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot? Is it like hot or is it no, spicy? It's hot. Hot. Okay, it's not spicy, but. <laughs> my, my tongue is burnt. Man, look at that red ass bra. Ooh, it is so yummy. Ooh. Ooh. Don't burn your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> this came up before no our, our appetizer. No okay, we wait. We're gonna wait. Chill, chill out. Here is my minced pork with dry noodles. It smells so good. It has like a braised egg, bok choy, the minced pork, this beautiful sauce. And our sauteed green beans are here. <laughs> yeah, this dude is like super buzz. <laughs> So yummy. Mmm. I already mixed mine. It's my dry noodle with the minced pork. It's so good. I also added some of the broth from over here to here. <laughs> wow. Best thing I taste today. Yeah, so far in Seattle. And not, we're not saying that because we're buzzed. Like, it actually tastes really, really good. We also order a chicken fried steak. With some minced pork on top of the shrimp, the braised that again, and bok choy, and right there is some cabbage. But everything here has been very delicious so far. I really enjoy this broth right here. It's really good on the dumplings. Complements each other really well. Woo! <laughs> We're done taking pictures at the farm Montreal. We started getting kind of busy, so we had a formal line. But everything is done, and we got our flowers because we're going to visit Bruce Lee's Spray. And I thought it was going to be a little bit weird if we did not bring anything. So that's why we decided to pick up Tom at the Vermont Sunday um, <laughs> Marketplace. He is still very, very buzzed. So yeah, we're going to catch an Uber and then we'll head out over there. And I know there's a park over there too, so we can just um, hang out in that area. But yeah, today is just a very low-key chill day compared to yesterday. It was football weekend. Yep. First open. <laughs> Spicy wontons, it just arrived. Lots of chili and garlic oil. Oof, I can smell it. Hey, cuisine. This is the beef teriyaki on a skewer. We just tried to order like a little bit of everything and I just finished cooking up the octopus. But that's how it looks like. It's really good. It has like this very um, deep charcoal taste to it. Yeah, I did it in the spicy sauce too. <laughs> Everything just tastes better with chili oil. This is the Dandan Ramen. More chili oil. <laughs> As you guys can see, we like eating spicy food. But honestly, this, this to us is not spicy. And this is the first time eating this variation of Dandan noodles. Okay, hon. <laughs> Say, this is not Iron Chef, dude. <laughs> How is it? Thumbs up. <laughs> Our salmon avocado roll has arrived. I already ate a few actually. And here is the unagi and avocado roll. So, this is all our food that we ordered. 
of a snack or anything so just more people who eat real food and we also got a case of supper posted last time for two days <laughs> so yeah we're ready to check out it's about I believe 9 p.m. and we're pretty much just tired basically from traveling and then just walking today even though today was more low-key yeah we had a lot of fun today for our second day in Seattle see you guys tomorrow good night Got off the ferry and now we're walking to the main street. We are at Bainbridge Island. It was fun riding the ferry. It was like a good 25 minute wait. And yeah, it's not that many tours today. And it's a Monday. So hopefully, you know, there are not too many people here. has arrived everything is packaged and ready to go but we are dining outside yes put all that chili oil in there I got a grilled pork bun me how's that broth does it taste good pretty good this is the lemongrass grilled pork bun me I just opened it and I tasted the broth is actually pretty salty and delicious as that Vietnamese beef broth taste that we like but they didn't give us any um, Thai basil or bean sprout <laughs> or lime <laughs> but that's okay it's still very very good We made it back from 
um, our dinner. We actually just met up with a couple of friends that I met in Japan. It was really nice catching up with them, but we decided to go back to the grocery store, grab some soju, and we're going to just relax and drink for our last night here in Seattle. And then tomorrow morning, yeah, we'll do some stuff and then head straight to the airport. But good night, and that was the third day to Seattle. See you guys tomorrow. For lunch, we are having some fish and chips and clam chowder. So we stopped at Ivor's bar and the restaurant's not open, but we got the to-go place. And we have a very nice view of the pier with a bunch of these boats next to us. They gave us these wee wee little size sauce packets. Good. So let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, look how thick it is. <laughs> Push down. <laughs> but look at all of them. All these birds have gathered here. Oh, they're scary. They're scary. Please don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. They're attacking each other now. Dude, you started a war. You better just give them all the potato fries. <laughs> We got mashed potato with gravy on the side and a sausage meat pie with some, I'm guessing this is some kind of mustard sauce. Much like Dijon mustard. Yeah, Dijon mustard. Let's try this one first. Very flaky, the pastry. Chase it with some mashed potato and gravy. Mm -mm -mm. We just got on the Ferris wheel that's near the Seattle Pier, and we're not even at the highest point yet. The already oh, kind of freaking out. Those star white stocking going. <laughs> this is so scary. Anyway. <laughs> we ordered the egg drop soup with mushroom and it's basically just a regular egg drop soup but with the can of mushrooms and we decided to order this because we needed something warm because it is kind of chilly today and this homeboy been drinking up all the hot tea and probably needs some soup to heal his soul we also got our garlic green beans right here with a side of rice yeah. and then the ever popular oyster beef sauce. We just ordered a relatively small meal even though it's coming in big portions. Not, we don't want to eat too much. Pork. Yes, this is our last stop before we head to the airport. Basically just trying to kill time um, so that we don't have to wait so long when we head to the airport. It's 2.31 p.m. right now, so we'll probably get on the light rail and head back to Tech in like 30 minutes, but killing time with Papa T. We got some security and we made it through and now we're sitting at our gate. And we have about about two more hours before our flight takes off, so we're just going to relax and wait here. Uh, we had a very good time in Seattle, and uh, we'll see if we come back again in the future. But thank you guys for watching my vlog, and I'll see you guys next time. And of course, safe travels. <laughs>